Hey, this is Rob from Reason Prep coming at you with another series of videos. This series has been requested uh, quite a bit, and I'm glad to finally be able to get to it. And it is the SAT subject test and mathematics levels one and two review series. So in this video, this intro video, just want to lay out what is in this series, what I cover, and some notes you should know before you start watching the videos. So first, what is in this series? In this series, I cover almost 300, I think it's about 290, uh, real SAT math one and two practice problems. So I'm only using real questions because just like with the regular SAT and the ACT and all the tests I cover, I always preach use real questions as much as you can. So in this series, I'm going to go through 300 real SAT math one and two questions, more or less split 50-50. I think there's actually a few more math one questions, but... Uh, a note, this series is not a substitute for your math courses. So there's no possible way I can cover everything you've learned in math up to trigonometry or up to pre-calculus in a video series, at least this video series. It's just going to be, it would be a ton of work, maybe one day, but for now, not yet. This is just a series where I work through practice problems, show you uh, what I think is the simpler ways to go through it. Sometimes I'll go through different methods to, to tackle the question, but it's all about solving SAT math one and two questions. Uh, not really. We do cover a little bit of review. I'll touch on certain topics here and there, but this is not a comprehensive review series in that way. So just keep that in mind. Uh, what tests, what problems do I use? The major contribution, the bulk of the questions come from this official study guide. This is the, there's an SAT official blue book for the subject tests. It's like a big thick book. In fact, I wasn't planning on this, but I'll show it. So this is the big blue book. There you go. That's the big blue book. And in it, there's one math one test and one math two test, in addition to one test of every other subject test. So I recommend you getting that if you're thinking about doing other subject tests. But the thing is, I recommend this book because it actually contains two math one tests and two math two tests. Now, the math one and math two tests from the big blue book are also included in the small blue book. So you're only getting really one extra test of each, which kind of stinks. But again, the part of the problem with the subject test is finding practice tests. So you definitely want to get this. I work through both math one tests and math two tests in the series. There's also 15 like introductory bonus problems in that book as well for each of the subjects. So I work through those because these questions come from the blue book, which they sell. I don't put the questions on the screen because that's like a copyright thing. So uh, you'll need the book to follow along with uh, my work. I will be writing on the screen. I will be drawing the diagrams and doing the formulas. I'm just not going to put a copy of the problem on the screen. Uh, so make sure you have this book before you watch these videos. I also do some practice online questions. Some of these are actually up on YouTube, but uh, only about 15 of each. And these questions come from these links. These links will be in the description of this video if you're watching it on YouTube. They also will be on my website if you're watching this video on my site. So you can check out these questions here. You can try them first and then watch my videos. So how, do we, how should you use these videos? Just like I said, you should complete always the practice questions before viewing the relevant video. So just watching me do problems is a terrible waste of time. You want to try to do it yourself first and then compare your approach and your answer to mine. When you do the official tests from the blue book, do them first, of course, before you watch the videos and do them under test conditions. So sit down for an hour and at a time with your calculator and do it as if it's a real test so you can get an idea of where you're at and then review your answers and your explanations by watching the video or the videos that you'd like to watch. Uh, one note, some of the online questions, so the questions from the college board, which I discussed here, some of these questions also appear in blue book tests. They're reused for some reason. So I recommend you skip these questions. I've listed them out here. I've also listed them out on my website and I've noted in the video that they're doubles. Skip these questions in the online questions, both doing them and watching the video until you've done the, the full two tests because you don't, I guess it's really only test two, as you can see, of each one that gets a little bit messed up. So uh, you might want to skip these before you, uh, if you haven't done the full test yet, just so you don't get spoiled. Finally, for formula sheets, um, instead of reinventing the wheel, instead of coming up with my own formula sheets, I've used sheets that a tutor who calls himself Eric the Red 
has made freely available for students and for tutors to use. Um, in exchange, I'm supposed to leave a link to his site, and absolutely will do that, ericthered.com. It's a really useful site for all kinds of statistical and other information about the SAT, whether it's the regular SAT or the Math 1 and Math 2 test. So definitely check out his site and download the formula sheet that you'll need uh, for either Math 1 or Math 2. All right, so that should be it for right now. Let me know if you have any questions, and if not, I'll see you in the second video.